here it is in replay. And he's down on the inside of the racetrack and it looks like it just broke loose with him. Whether a tire went down or what happened, hard to tell if that right rear tire is flat or not, Danny. Yeah, he has been running awfully high on the racetrack, and that time he was low on the racetrack, mm -hmm. like he decided to try a different line or something. I'm not entirely sure what he was doing down there, but I see when he gets down the driver. But take a look at this moment. That is Michael Waltrip out of control, tri oval into a series of sidewinders, nine shattering snap rolls. Less than an hour later, he was out of the infield care center into his so wings. Correct there. Let's see how this happened. Goes down the corner. We see the right front just go away and in the wall. God, man. Oh, no, folks. You can't imagine. And almost got clobbered from behind as Barfield goes by. And another solid blow on the inside wall. So hit hard enough with fire. Here we go. This is a real speed. And you can just see how fast these cars are moving. I'm glad he's okay. Turn four, as Darrell Waltrip calls it, the triangle. Yeah, Michael's just going through there. I'm sure his gauges went erratic on him. He lost orientation, and into the wall he went. I don't, I don't understand it. It happens all the time. So right there, right behind Michael. Yeah, there's Michael trying to get on the inside of David Rudiman and just ran out a little bit of room. You see a hard contact with Ted Musgrave. I'm going to tell you what, this is going to be a big shakeup in the points. I would have to think that Ted in Musgrave... right rear quarter panel. There's A.J. High getting snarled and that car that gets thrashed and spun around lands at the bottom of the racetrack. You can see AJ pulling on the inside. He and Jeff Burton make some contact and his car just turns left. Now what he misses this concrete wall but comes around and hits the very end of that. We'll see Michael's okay because he's still steering. <laughs> Where's the spacer? Well, what happens when you wreck one of these race cars? When you wreck one of these cars, you, you got so many bent up pieces of metal on it that something. Michael's car got loose on him coming out of turn two then. Darrell was just at the yep, wrong place wrong at the wrong place. time. He was headed around Michael on the outside. Yep. Uncle Mike couldn't do a thing about it. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. He had to get in the inside pretty good, didn't he, Michael? Yep. And found something that lifted it up. Probably and a quick weird. learner about the draft. Where to put that car? Ooh. Oh, 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 that's and Michael. And around goes Michael. Backs into the wall. And spins off toward the infield grass. Caution is out. Hey, go. Things got just too tight. Keep taking there. Pack just out there the pit road. Boom. When he came up on the racetrack, the thing just jumped around with him. Darrell, did he hear full of the 17 car Matt Kendall? Oh, and is that Kevin Harvick in the outside wall? Big crash. Four cars, five, Charlie six. got a big rack to start finish by. Big rack, big rack. Get your hand up. Get your hand up. Four today's in it. Was Let's joy. take a look at him getting down the back straight and see what happened here. Heard the spotter say something blue. It must have been it was that left front tire looks like. And boy, just took what did what did I get an oil line? Yeah, that's what the, the spotter said. It looked like it blew an engine, and that's the reason he said that because that tire blew out and probably sheared an oil line off the oil pump or something on the engine, and that's what made all this fire. You know, they always tell you when you're starting to learn how to drive a NASCAR. Tell you to right. Here comes the leaders. Now watch behind as Nemechek and McLaughlin spin. And look at Michael, he just forced in the outside wall. Up he goes across the racetrack. Michael had no place to go, did he, Kyle? No place to go. If you saw the car right in front of Michael, uh, was the 23 of Chad Little. That, it looked like the 33 car of uh, Brian Scott, something. And watch Danica right there. Man, that was a lick. Car number 96. Here comes Waltrip trying to come down on the inside, and they get together as it comes off of there, off of turn four. Tries to straighten the car out, similar to what Tommy Houston did a moment ago. Overcorrected a little bit, and then he locked the brakes up on and slammed into the inside retaining wall. Up at the top of your screen, you see the car coming off of turn four. And wow, heavy contact with that inside retaining wall. 
And he comes back up uh, sort of to the middle of the racetrack, and you see the leaders Whoa. coming up through there, and Ricky Rudd. This is over in turn two, buddy. Michael Waltrip running a little slower there. Looks like uh, the three car there of Hornaday got into him. He checked up. Elton Sawyer in the 98 gets involved. These guys are spinning round and round, and this fire comes out of the 98 in just a second. For Michael Walter thus far, he started 27th. He is running 16th right now. And remember, oh, this is he just spun out, Marty, just as you talked about him. He spun out and crashed in turn two. Side, there you go. It, uh, I could see that car. It's uh, one of the number 80. Mark yeah, Mark Crow. Crow, one of the Crow brothers. And, of course, Mark had nowhere oh, to go. Phil, Phil Parsons, Parsons almost went over Mark Martin's Got up car. on top of Mark, and here comes a whole Blaise bunch of Alexander other guys. Alexander in the 20 there. Piling in on top of each other. Nowhere to go. Oh, trouble, trouble. Ernie Irvin, Steve Park in front of Michael Walton, who takes out Sterling Marlin. Being hit by others, Mike Skinner spins. Earnhardt, Earnhardt. Here comes Bobby Labonte with a hard hit on Skinner. Watch the left side of your screen. Two cars getting together, and then one gets sideways. Looked like that was the Dale Jarrett car. Brad Teague, I believe, the number Brad 75, Teague. the black and orange car, right at the middle of your screen, and he really Look how that racetrack is blocked. There's nowhere to go. Driving has nothing to do with it here. You're flying. There's just nowhere to go. Everything washes down, but people now have locked it up to try to miss the wreck. And uh, Back stretching into turn number three. Apparently, the engine let go on the Country Time Lemonade Pontiac number 30. As he went into the turn, you see a lot of smoke, and that's not all tire smoke. He spins around, gets on his old, old, own oil and water, backs it into the wall just barely hits a left corner there pretty good and then starts to come back down across the racetrack and the leaders were not too far behind him when he did this but everybody got through you see Ricky right Red. behind the 21 car and all of a sudden the car just snaps around and i think you went to look and see if the right rear tire was flat if it wasn't before the accident yeah, it is now right now Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I think Michael just, unless yeah. Michael got help from somebody. Uh, it looked like Jeff Purvis got in the back of Michael Walter. That's why that, he was. Yeah, on that last replay, it's possible. Yeah. I mean, I Purvis. know that Purvis does hit Michael, but gosh, I'm not sure. Big move here off turn four like Kevin did. Oh, and there Shots they to the wall they with wrecked. the one of McMurray. Three, four cars around. One on its roof. One car hard into the wall. That was a... I'm and it ends in flames and sparks. And Jimmy Spencer split the five mm. car, and Gordon gets the position. And then the car sits there, and along comes Michael Waltrip and plows in the back of Lassiter. Okay, there. Well, there's Terry going around. He makes contact with uh, the seven car there, Waltrip. Now, what triggered that? I'm not sure. There were some reports there was oil on the track, and there's Mayfield pow right into Waltrip. Trying to run through the smoke. And so three cars that are first not set of tires. Uh, oh, oh Mark, get him. That's not good. Wrecking behind you. Peter says, just starting to get Oh, oh. That's look out. Fine. That's trouble. Oh, he's he's inside. Inside. oh, oh man. <laughs> Brother. Man, he slid forever. He sure ball. did. Spins around in that big smoke cloud. There are more cars wrecking behind them. Oh, and Walter's car had come to a stop and got pounded. And he's out there. Oh, and stayed there long enough to bring out the flag. You see Jimmy Spencer, the smoke and joke car involved. As he goes around, he continues on. Oh, we got a spin. Michael Waltrip is in the wall. Somebody hit him. A 98 car, looks like. Jim Oh, all comes off the quarter. It just nails Michael. Watch this. Bam. Thank goodness those, for those water cans there. I'll tell you, that, that took a lot of that impact away. Car they back here. He gets around on his own. People start taking evasive action. He's coming down the hill. All of a sudden, 
Here, Here comes, comes Michael, Michael right there. Just there it goes. over the left front. Catapults him upside down. Just turned him right over. Several cars involved. Wow, that was a great job by Kyle Busch, for sure. You also see Joey Logano try to snake through. He was the back of this pack. There's a contact, Michael Waltrip and Bobby Labonte. David Reagan gets the other side of Labonte. Yeah, Reed Sorensen in the 43 just snuck by there also. That that car was also a winner here with Johnny Benson. So it's got a good oh, track. Big trouble here is Jeff wow. Fuller's machine, the 45. Dale Shaw involved. Michael Waltrip is involved. Oh. Tim Zock, 63, and Tracy Leslie. So injuries. They just want to keep his spine and neck straight. Here is a replay once again. Kenny Wallace and Rick Mast also involved. But they're able to keep going. We don't know what happened. Open slide on the outside and contacts the concrete wall nearly head on. The car is sawed in half by that concrete barrier there. One of the most spectacular and violent crashes I have ever seen. Ned Jarrett. Jerry, I've been involved into this deal. Michael Waltrip's wild ride. They come to the bottom of the racetrack. Boy, I mean, it just looks exactly like what happened to Michael in Charlotte. Here they come, man. Oh, what you got? Right there, really looks like the Murray got harvested. Hey guys, we just got the clapper. And this is lights out. Being broken. You ever see Mike Dillon and Mike Walter making that contact and they just in unison spin down through the Joe Bessie was going. When we had this problem up in turn number two, notice that Michael Walter from the yellow car gets nailed pretty good by AJ Point and he heads toward the uh, Lake Lloyd area. Now several have been left to go, but they need to stay lined up the best they can now. Oh, Michael! Michael, sideways. Go. And with the right side. Back out, no traffic coming. What happened? contact but look how it has pancaked the right side of Michael Waltrip's car. Oh, oh it noses into the pit wall probably yeah. without no break. break. By himself BP. Sure was. On board the 55. Michael Waltrip got put into the wall. Yes Michael got clobbered and uh, shortened that car up. Travis Geisler in that 36. Greg Sachs won the July 400 miler. Oh, trouble. Off turn four, Michael Waltrip goes spinning in front of the pack, and here they come. Four cars spinning, John and Freddie, Kenny Wallace, nine cars. Stacey Compton goes down pit road. Elliot Sadler gets caught up in it. Half a mile, let's see if we can see on the restart. Yeah, all of a sudden, and whoever hit that has got some serious damage to the front of his car as well. That's a 98 car, I think. I'll show you real time. How quickly this can happen? Eh, I don't know. It's just at that point where if you touch the car, it goes around. Terry Labonte will be the car. Ed, the uh, Brad Teague loses it coming out of two. Yeah, they were coming off their three abreast. Mark Martin was down on the inside, L.D. Ottinger, and uh, the car number 33 of Brad Teague got the Sterling Marlin. Trouble just jumps out and finds you. You see Michael Walter, bam, looks like the right front tire went down. And he went in the corner up in and hit the wall right in the middle of the corner and then bam comes across and there he gets Skinner. That wasn't a matter of Mike. Uh, just hit that curb and just loses it just for a second and there's nowhere to go but right in that tire wall. And I see what happens there, Daryl. The right rear corner. On a qualifying run, and I thought, well, then there's where he had. To oh, no. Oh, for Pete's sake, brother. That is a hard lick. Yeah. And she lost about 10 spots. Oh, we got trouble coming off a of two already. Matt Kenseth is around a hard hit. Kenseth took a hard hit. Oh, oh we got the, the head. Donnie Nordberg at 52. 
goes tumbling down the backstretch, and then... Just glad he didn't try to refire it. There was some seepage out of uh, that tank. Ah. Little pinball machine action there. That's Bill Elliott there, it looks like, on the outside. They made a little contact. And you see Musgrave there on the right after he got touched by Michael. The car inside was David Green. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got the car up whoa, whoa, whoa. Behind you. Blowing up behind you. Jamie McMurray, Michael oh, Wilson, they got Dale, Dale Jarrett. Jarrett got in it. Carl Edwards slides by. Oh, man. Watch as this. Oh. He not only watches it, he's he a participant. John Andretti there in second place. Oh, there's a car. Michael Walton. That was Michael Walton. Oh, my God. Menards into him. He comes down the banking and collects Jay Sauter. Coming in on him pretty quick going into the turn. Michael slips a little bit high. They made contact right there, and what Michael gets into the wall, and Kyle Petty coming hard runs into Michael Walker. Had nowhere to go. He goes up in front of Leffler. Left, and Michael just was not straight enough when Leffler got into him. If he'd have been a little further down the straightaway, I think he'd have been all right. But uh, just enough, to, Michael was still turning enough that he turned his car around. And that slowed Leffler enough to give Junior a run on Leffler on the outside. Oh, oh, behind him. Oh, oh, there's contact. Get you now. Stewart into the middle of the pack and over. There he is on the inside of the 50 car, and he just gets loose in the corner, like almost like on a dirt track. And watch this. Listen. Ah. Bobby Hamilton almost oh. slides and crashes. And Jeremy Mayfield's got it. Oh. John Graham, the 72 car, just lost control right in front of Michael. The short tracks. Of course, we have the Southern 500 coming up next weekend for Darnie. Oh, and Michael Waltrip is into the wall this time. And Joe Rutman hits him as Michael. Here's the most recent. Oh, wow. Three cars, three wide going in the corner. And <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to get some help on that one. <laughs> let's go over here. You got, Come on, boys. Let's go talk about this. You got this. plenty of video to support it. It's just right. not there for him. It's just all over the place, and there it oh, goes. Oh, there it goes. That's, that's such a shame. Michael, Michael into his teammate, got, Rudiman. Got Rudiman loose. Right in front of Keselowski. Here comes Nemechek. Pow into I, Michael. Look it. No, nope, didn't make it. Didn't make it. Brian Keselowski, we just talked about, was involved. That white car up against the wall there. There's Mark Martin down here, Jimmy Johnson. He's in there that yep. was around backward, and the car never even, it never did anything. But, I mean, there's no question. Kyle Busch in the 18 gets into the back of Johnny Sauter in the 36, but he had Michael Waltrip in the 55 stuck up here. Yeah, that's a hard hit by Michael Waltrip. That'll take your breath. Yeah, just swaps in, gets into the wall. And then Clint Boyer gets turned around by Joey Logano and backs into Michael He's right front here. Well, does there after the contact. Yeah, no, he just went over the top of Michael, and I think Michael thought they were still racing. Well, let's... On board with Michael. Our guys are trying to come back to us. That oh, was, that was Robbie Gordon. Gordon. And Michael Walker was handling up into Blaney. Yep. Stay low, stay low. Stay low. I don't know how that did not get a nightmare. I'm not sure, but I, I feel great. Um, 
Somebody turn the pole sitter. What are you going to do? Unbelievable, but that's typical here. Oh, watching it again. I just thought I knew what I was doing. I, uh, and Rusty just bunted me back over and got me in a huge crash. But darn, I was having Wow. Man, oh, man. That guy happens to be fast tonight. <laughs> You'll go ahead and drap with him. You mean so oh, the trouble. Oh, Michael, Michael Waltrip spins. Hits the O on a Neva check. Then catches Biffle, the championship leader. Biffle has significant damage. Oh, I mean, it, it, the picture tells the story right Man, there. He just jacked him up. And, of course, nowhere for Matt Kenseth in the 17 to go. Well, that was ugly. Kenseth down. He got loose. He got loose right when he got out. Of the oh, that hurts. Man, why didn't they... Added and uh, that glanced up to... It just gets loose going in. He tries to catch up with it. Not enough room here to chase a car up the hill. Gets clipped in the left front. Turns it back into the outside wall. Him here. He's uh -oh, oh, trouble. trouble. Contact on the Oh, tripping now. Brian Vickers. Oh. Robbie Gordon, 31. The That's time. Oh, guys, Waltrip's 25 over. Guys One, into it. two, three times for Michael Waltrip. Well, there's the now, big one right big there. One. A lot, there's a lot of good cars right there. Is that Sterling Marlin in there? 40 cars in it. That's Michael Waltrip's car upside down. Yeah. Oh. Usual for a tire to blow like right there. Yeah. Usually it's when you're going. some contact Spike. oh and the 15th of the leader now these guys gonna get a lap back oh big crash oh, look at this oh his teammate nowhere for him to go oh, boy it's right it's going to this screen. gets a little loose he corrects and boom bam Hits that outside retaining wall. And then the 32 goes around reacting to what he saw. It's almost like he overcorrected. He just, yeah, he, he didn't know where Michael was going to go. He didn't know if he's going to come off the wall or stay. And the 75 car go by, they slow. Now both those cars were able to go by. Now Jeremy Mayfield is going down the straightaway, and all of a sudden, for some reason, the car goes back across the racetrack right in front oh. of Michael and the 44 car. Between, watch this, Hut Strickland and Dave Marcus. Watch. Boom. Yes, there was some heavy contact. Here's another angle as he got off the track, and this slick grass sent him hard into the tire barrier. He hit it with the right rear of the race car. Inside of the Bobby Hillen car, they go up and they make contact. And around goes Hillen. Here comes Bodine, Bodine gets by. Bodine gets by, another car gets by. And then Hillen comes back across the racetrack right in the front of Michael Walter. Go down in the yellow car on the left of your screen coming off of turn four. And you can see the car breaks loose all of a sudden right in front of a big pack. That's that Dale Earnhardt going by. And then he clips Michael Walter in the car number Ooh. 30, Rusty Wallace. Here comes Jimmy Means in the blue car getting involved. There's Derek Cope in car number 10. You see Neil Bonnet way down on the bottom of your screen. I don't think he was involved. He just cut down to the inside. You can see him now coming off of the grass. I think he got through the wreck okay. Ned, could you call that driver error? Well, what I don't know. It looks... It looks uh, no, I don't think so. Something... Maybe. second between Bodine. Oh, we have a crash up in turn number four, two. That's <laughs> Michael Waldron. Oh, no. Scraping along the wall. He's trying to get it off of the wall. You can see that. He's trying to get it off, but it, he he's got to pin it right up against the wall. He hit awful hard. Right across the nose of the 29, and Clint Boyer had nowhere to go. Then Michael, fortunately, had safer barriers on the inside, although he hit a ton. Let's listen. Right here, Michael's up on the outside. And Darrell Turton Jr. is gaining on the 99 about that time, and then that right front tire disintegrates. Behind. Darrell here. Full of fuel and go the rest of the way. That's big. So let's race. 
three abreast for second. Whoa, whoa, that's, that's a 99, isn't it? Yeah, that's Michael. He's around. Straightens it out. Jay Sauter, 